I want to thank everyone who came by to the YouTube live stream that we did on Saturday. Pretty awesome stuff. For people who missed it, we took a look at all the weird food, food goods that we had within Transformers history, and we ate some of it, despite how expired some of them might be. Uh, it was really awesome stuff. Thanks for all the donations, too, and for people that have been looking at the Patreon membership and, of course, the YouTube membership that has been recently activated on the channel. But let's talk about today a piece of news that I kind of held off on discussing, and I figured I might as well talk about it now, and it's revisiting that of the War for Cybertron Netflix show's spoiler box with Ultra Magnus. Now, we talked about it a little bit a couple weeks ago. I tried to translate the limited amount of stuff that was available from the shots from China, and now we have full, beautiful shots of the Cybertronian on the inside of the box and more information about what's going on inside the box. <clears throat> so once again, if you don't want to be spoiled, I heavily suggest you do not watch this video and this segment and uh, you know maybe come back later and see if we were right or wrong. Who knows? So we have the two pieces of Cybertronian here, one that's written in black and one that's written in red, and we have some Play-Doh goop that uh, it's kind of the first time ever Transformers has been integrated with Play-Doh, considering that uh, it's also a Hasbro-owned brand. And we ended up learning through the Chinese images prior to this that if you dig through that Play-Doh goop, there's uh, some Energon cubes in there. We don't know what the origin of that is. It could be a suggestion of, let's say, dark matter or dark Energon, or is it some kind of Cybertronian tar? Who knows what that represents? But there is clearly some uni uh, some Unicron, some uh, Energon crystals inside all of that. And whatever that is representing, we will find out. Written under that, it says... <clears throat> And I'll translate it from Cybertronian here. This could only mean one thing. Ultra Magnus is dead. <clears throat> and it might be an indication of what might be going on in the show. Because written above it, also in Cybertronian, but written in black with a Decepticon logo under it, is I, Ultra Magnus, in good faith, hereby surrender to you. Now... People have been wondering what's going on when we saw the trailer initially. Is Ultra Magnus betraying the Autobots to go work for the Decepticons? This clearly kind of now gives us a little bit of an indication that I guess maybe Ultra Magnus is a little more battle logical, I guess, in this version of War for Cybertron. Uh, maybe he thinks that the way that Decepticons are doing their thing might be the right way for the war. And so maybe he surrenders to them. And then the red that we read under it is clearly an Autobot character, maybe even the Battlefield rung that comes with the box set. Uh, speculating this could only mean one th thing, Ultra Magnus is dead, implying that maybe the Ultra Magnus that surrendered is not really Ultra Magnus. Maybe it's someone else. Um, it could be one of many things. Again, it's, it's very hard to pick apart what's going on here from just uh, two pieces of Cybertronian and some Play-Doh encasing some uh, energon cubes but it, it is very bizarre and uh i mean <laughs> i don't know i do not know uh according to um according to netflix currently what's going on is that we're going to be getting this series from polygon pictures uh it's speculated at least according to them as assuming that nothing delays it up to this point because of the recent activity that's been going on around the world. Uh, this is the first season supposed to premiere in June of 2020. So <clears throat> hopefully we'll, we'll learn something from then. Uh, it's going to be a two-parter. The first part is actually going to be called Siege. So it's going to be War for Cybertron Siege, the series. And that's going to be three episodes with dates that we don't know yet or episode names. And then there's going to actually be a part two, which will be called Earth Rise. What a surprise. And, of course, the confirmed characters, Optimus Prime, Alita One, Bumblebee, Ratchet, uh, Red Alert, Ultra Magnus, Wheeljack, uh, RC, Ironhide, Cliffjumper, Sideswipe, Chromia, Hound, and Cog, Decepticons. We have Megatron, Starscream, Shockwave, Soundwave, uh, Skywarp, Jetfire on the villain side, so hmm, that might even play into his commander class toy that has the swapping uh, emblem. 
Uh, Impactor, again, also a Decepticon. Mirage, also a Decepticon. Barricade, Thundercracker, Skytread, and Refractor, aka Reflector. Uh, absent from this is the Scrape Face. Maybe that'll play into Reflector somehow. And of course, we also have Teletran 1 involved in this. In terms of voice actors that are involved, it's a lot of the returning individuals from that of the, I guess we'll call it the Machinima series stuff. Um, we do have uh, Jake Forshi, I think his name is, uh, who already did Optimus Prime in the Cyberverse stuff and in the Rescue Bot stuff. So he's kind of returning back. And we have... <clears throat> Um, excuse me, I, I just ate. I don't know why I'm all phlegmy. Um, and we also have uh, some other returning characters here and there, again, from the Machinima stuff. Some new faces here and there. Um, I know that the voice actress for Alita 1 added me on Twitter recently, and I have no idea why. I, I have not talked about this series really up to this point in net depth, but I don't know. Maybe it's someone I know and I don't know them. Could be. But... Either way, a whole crew of people. I'm kind of excited about this, mostly because I'm just kind of curious um, where this is all going to go, because it's a combination of individuals uh, from the video game world with the machinima voice actors. I mean, even like, um, who is it? The, the voice actor for, uh, for Jetfire in this. He's like a guy who did all the War for Cybertron and Fall for Cybertron stuff. So it's it's a lot of video game voice actors mixed with anime voice actors, mixed with people from Machinima. And because at least it's a half hour format and at least we have six episodes for the first part, it, it could potentially be something exciting. So I really hope a lot for this. I hope this works out to be a great series. And I mean... Maybe this could be the future of Transformers from a media standpoint, because if if and if they really have a good budget for it, and Netflix is a good place for it, where it has less limitations of of a TV audience, um, this could be lead to some really good storytelling. And uh, let's just keep positive and hope that uh, this all works out in the end.